all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. Right, you've probably seen on the internet last night, Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo, it's done, first of May, or eight for May. So, how is that done? It's not a, it's not a concrete date, is it? So that's not 100%. And Canelo, fighters got Yildirim to fight next. And we also happen we had Andy Ruiz, didn't we, and Joshua. So how is it done? Is this another? Is it is it another teaser? This is this what it is? Hey, a, a, another teaser because as far as I'm concerned, right? It, that ain't done to me. That's that's like. Having a car sprayed, right? And not having bumpers buffed up. Because bumpers are usually different, you have different paint on bumpers, don't you, at colour coding. And just, it not finished off properly. Do you know what I mean? It's, they might have all said, yeah, we'll fight, let's just get this out of the way. And it, basically, it's down the line in another three and a half month, isn't it? But, till I see them in the ring, I can't invest any more of my, of my time in Canelo versus Saunas because we've been hearing it now since 2015 when, when Billy won a uh, world title. But 2021, he's got two world titles now, still undefeated. But this is what's so frustrating about the Billy Joe Saunders career. We're being told, oh, it's done, it's done not done there's no press conferences there's Canelo's got another fight as I've just said and Billy could go off at rails any day he could get injured could get cut in sparring they could say there's no crowds look all the excuses will be ready so till I see him in ring I can't invest as much time in it as I want to do but I don't think Billy's a favorite in it Billy Joe Saunders doesn't ice people at 160, so what's he going to do at 168 when Canelo's a world champion at 175? And he's had big punches at him at 175, he's had Golovkin throat kitchen sink at him, couldn't budge him. So that means that Billy's got to beat him on points. He's not going to get a decision over there, Billy knows that. So I hope he's getting well paid for it, but... Billy Joe Saunders against Canelo at 160, in my opinion, is a 50-50 fight. People might say, fucking crazy! No, I'm not crazy. Billy Joe at 160, you flip a coin, him and Canelo, because Canelo will have to take weight off, won't he? You know, he's not going to have it all his own way. 168, I don't make Billy Joe a favourite. I hope he smashes Canelo to bits. I hope he punches him upside down and sends him back to... Uh, wild boar country do you know what I mean but I don't uh, I don't think he will I think he gets beat on points and he gets on his bike and I don't know I just don't think I don't think his style's there for for to beat Canelo at 168 I just I don't think so no I think he'd be too strong for him too big too strong at 160 though different kettle of fish but if he gets beat by Canelo at 168, we can hear that excuse, can't we? I'm really a 160. Well, take that other eight pound off and do yourself proud because in 10 years from now, you might regret it. That's what I think. I think, I think he'll regret it 10 years from now. I do, honestly. I think he'll regret it, but... When have you seen Billy in a great fight and gone, wow, Lemieux, who will practice in his art, his art in Lemieux fight. I thought that was fantastic. He was tailor made for Billy. Andy Lee. He put Andy Lee down twice. And that fight was close at end. But I ain't really seen Billy in. Maybe you Eubank fight were alright, wasn't it? But you don't see him in thrillers, do you? Because his style's there not to be in a thriller. He's the sweet science, Billy. A bit like Galahad and Tyson Fury. How many exciting fights have you seen them in? Cunningham fight with Tyson were exciting, wasn't it? Schooled Vladimir, bashed up Wilder. 
So three fights, Gallard, I've not seen him in a fight. But them three fighters are all complete, aren't they? They could do everything. But they're not, they don't deliver all the time. And, you know, there's always, there's always a problem in it. I want to see exciting fights. I want to see Tyson fight like he did against Wilder at second fight. I want to see Billy go for it as well. I want to see him let some shots go because he can punch, but he hasn't needed to because he doesn't get hit. So I hope that Mark Tibbs is going to change his style a little bit so he's a bit more offensive instead of defensive. But if he fights Canelo in May, I'll say well done. Uh, if he gets beat against Canelo, there's always the Golovkin fight at 160 because he can say, I'm really at 160, so I'm going to fight Golovkin at 160. Maybe I'm jumping ahead of myself there. But let me know what you think in the comments section, if you agree with me. If you don't, who cares? Alright, so I think that's about it really. Thank you for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Leave me a nice one though because I've got a big ego. If you want to come on the channel, it's porkycorner at mail.com. I don't want to hear any excuses if you've got plenty to say for yourself in the comments section. I don't want to hear it about, oh, I can't get Zoom. If you can get YouTube, you can get Zoom, all right? There's plenty of people who want to come on. I only have one on a day. It's usually at night time when I get home. I might have odd one on in here in the day, but... So, all right. And that's about it, really. So let's see if Eddie Hearn can finally get it made. I mean, Canelo and Billy, they're from the same uh, TV station, aren't they? There's no excuses for it not to be made. If this fight doesn't happen in May, right, I think all parties need to have a good look at themselves. Canelo's team, Billy's team, and say, where are we going here? Where are we going? Especially when UFC have got... Out of the 11 world champions, they've got seven of them fighting in the next eight weeks. What's about that? Two more are injured, I think, and two more are going to be a few months down the line. So Dana White gets them at it, doesn't he? He don't, he don't fall for all that. We need to build it up. We need to bring crowds back. No, they just get at it. If they lose, he brings them back. So too many fighters are trying to protect that O. So... But getting back to Joshua Fury, can't invest any more of my time in it. Because Tyson's not fought for a year. Got legal issues with Wilder. And it, we're going around in circles with it, aren't we? And I don't really think Joshua's team won it. Because they got them belts back, didn't they? And they weren't pushing for Tyson Fury before they fought Ruiz the first time. Well, they saw, well it is what it is, isn't it? So, it's all rubbish at the end of the day. We're being fed rubbish. We're the last ones to know, the fans, but then they come to us asking for pay-per-view money. So, but like I said, let me know what you think in the comments section. All right. So, all right, I think that's about it, really. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching. Big things planned. Peace out.